everyone, my name is Indira and I welcome you to my channel The I Factor. Today for the first time I'm going to make a recipe for you and uh, it is basically a dessert and uh, a great replacement for uh, all the store-bought high sugar, high preservative and high chemical uh, products that you would buy and eat. So um, this recipe is uh, basically low carbohydrate and high fat. Uh, for all those who've already endorsed uh, the low carb and high fat uh, lifestyle, already know that it's basically game changing and um, it is uh, great in the long run because uh, uh, you feel healthy, you have a lot of problems that you would be able to get rid of if you avoid eating the refined carbohydrates and uh, all the traditional things that have been recommended and passed on from generations. Um, I myself have uh, started to endorse this low carb and high fat eating lifestyle and I can tell you for sure that uh, it has really changed my um, the way I look at health, the way I look at life and uh, it, it's given me a lot of uh, positivity, it makes me feel energetic. So um, I'm not a doctor but uh, I just uh, really suggest that uh, you look at some videos and uh, uh, try for yourself uh, this kind of uh, an eating lifestyle. Well, uh, so I would like to show you the recipe and uh, I really hope you can follow it, make it for yourselves and uh, enjoy eating it. So let's look at the ingredients that we need for this recipe. You'll need uh, five tablespoons of almond flour. You'll need ghee. Uh, this is basically a, a refined uh, form of butter and it is uh, even more healthier because it has lots of vitamins and uh, it has uh, practically no lactose. You'll need chia seeds, then you will need uh, pumpkin seeds and uh, sunflower seeds and these are flax seeds. Um, you'll need cocoa powder and of course the most important ingredient is the sugar alternative that's uh, xylitol this is what does the magic making it uh, really low in carb and of course the key is what makes it a high fat and uh, finally you'll need uh, baking paper basically that's all that you need so now let's start making the recipe okay so now that we are ready with our ingredients let's get right to the recipe so first I'm just going to heat the pan that I'm going to make the stuff in and I'm going to use uh, five tablespoons of uh, ghee and uh, I'll bring it to a uh, heat well it's not uh, going to boil not at any cost you just got to like put in five of these tablespoons of ghee and let it just uh, heat for a few seconds and then I'm going to add in my cocoa powder. This uh, I'll add maybe three uh, teaspoons. That's enough if you want uh, something mild but if you want a very heavy chocolatey flavor then um, I think you can put more. So it's absolutely up to you. And then I'm just going to mix uh, the cocoa powder along with the ghee until it mixes uh, to the right consistency and there are no lumps in it. Ah, the smell of ghee and cocoa together, hmm, it's already delicious. So, okay, it looks like all the cocoa powder has melted into the ghee. And now, I'm just going to take in my almond flour and I'm going to start adding it in little portions. I do that because I don't want uh, there to be lumps or uh, there to be excess of uh, almond powder when there needs to be none. And just going to keep adding. This is basically a very simple recipe but it's super super healthy because as you can see there are only healthy ingredients going into it. And wow, if you can see this, it's already getting gooey. And then I'm just going to add in the last batch of my almond flour. Ha! 
And let's not forget the most important uh, ingredient, that is the xylitol, which will add to the sweetness and give it this nice chocolatey, sweet, healthy flavor. Well, you can also use stevia, but uh, I like xylitol because it does not uh, give me an aftertaste. So I've added around five uh, tablespoons. This is something that you can eyeball. You can either put five or if you think you want it more sweet, you can absolutely add in six or even seven. It doesn't matter at all. So usually I tend to taste after five because uh, you never know sometimes it's a little more bitter than you'd like it to be. So let's just see. Mm. It's so yum. But you know what? I have a sweet tooth. So I'm going to add in just a little more of xylitol and mix it again. Mm. This smells delicious. Okay, the final ingredients that I'm going to put in are my seeds. The pumpkin and the sunflower seeds and then the chia seeds. Well, uh, if you ask me how much you need to put, there is basically no rule, but you can add in as much as you want. Don't add too much, otherwise the chocolate is going to crumble and fall off. But um, I add uh, maybe three um, teaspoons of uh, each and mix it all together well. Ah, there you go. It's sticky, it's nice and uh, gooey, and there are lots of uh, seeds in it that makes it look super special. So, that's it. The first part of this game is already over. And now, what we'll have to do, it, do is, is to lay it onto the baking powder. So let's get right to it. Okay, so when the chocolate is uh, warm enough, it's time to set it. What I did is I put uh, baking, pa uh, baking uh, paper on uh, a tray and I just like take all my chocolate and put it onto this. And what I'm just going to do is uh, slowly start to press the chocolate onto the baking uh, uh, paper or the bake. But yeah. So I'm going to start to press it and uh, well the size uh, doesn't matter it depends on how thick you want the chocolate to be or how thin you want it to be so it absolutely does not uh, matter too much. It's uh, usually a little difficult uh, when you're pressing it because uh, it looks like it sticks onto this plastic thing but the metal spoon seems to be working fine so let's just press it and We'll get on to the next level. So I finished the set, uh, setting of the chocolate and um, basically I edited that part because it's uh, pretty boring but this is how it's going to look at the end. And uh, what you're going to do with this is just pop it into the fridge. So now comes the very interesting part of actually cutting the chocolate and putting it into a box. So let's get right to it. Um, there's no particular rule how you got to cut the chocolate, of course, but uh, usually I start from the side and uh, I work my way to the center and into the other corner. So, but of course, this is not any particular skill that I need to be teaching you guys. So, it seems to have uh, come out really well. It's pretty hard. Uh, maybe let's say firm, but at the same time, it's also looking very nice and gooey, and uh, that's how it's supposed to be. So.
So, the recipe has always been a success every time I made it. And uh, this is not a chocolate that I offer to too many people because uh, I'm greedy and I just want to eat all by myself. Okay, so now that we have cut the chocolate, all you have to do is to put it into a box. Um, as you can see, this box reads Sweet Cupcakes Bakery. Well, far from it. I don't have uh, anything uh, that's loaded with sugar or any other uh, harmful stuff, but uh, I love the box, so I just uh, use it. And uh, that's it, guys. This is uh, the awesome uh, chocolate recipe that I've been making and uh, it's been turning out uh, pretty successfully every time. Just look at that. That looks so delicious, doesn't it? So um, I really hope that uh, you like uh, my recipe and uh, I really hope that you try it yourself and uh, let me know how you were uh, successful with it. Hey guys, thank you very much for uh, seeing my recipe. I really hope that you're able to try it out yourselves and uh, please feel free to leave any comments or any suggestions that you may have. I'll come up with another uh, easy to make uh, low carbohydrate and a high fat recipe for you guys. Until then, bye bye.